Airlines had effed us over for the millionth time. the ocean. Okay. Because that's real real sand. This sand is only thick. Add to the sand collection. We got pink pine. That's the adults only whirlpool. Oh, it's usually full of kids. This is the temporary bar. It's set up. And uh, everywhere you come in from the beach, of course, we've got little showers and such. That's the uh, Japanese restaurant. We're going to miss it. We're not going to be able to get to Teppanyaki because uh, we wake up late all the time. And now we are down by the beach. Holy. I suppose if we wanted to, we could probably get those ocean kayaks or puddle boards. But so far, we've been pretty good with just... Uh, In the water. Snorkeling. Snorkeling. Looks like somebody's been batching. They got a pool ball for the Fellini. Yeah, they do. This is the entertainment area. This is where we saw a variety of shows. This is another feature. Um, we didn't get to rate this because it's not been functioning the entire time we've been here. But I imagine that they're probably reserving this for children and not me. Uh, I did try to climb it once. She did. On uh, one drunken Tuesday. Just, just to see if I could. There's batting cages and a little football oh, throwing entertainment team zone. This is this area is designed for the kids of the teenage variety. I don't see many of those around. Yeah, but they're all in school, so none of this stuff is being used, of course. Uh, hey there. Uh, and then, of course, then you have the. Cordezon, where you can uh, play pool. No, that is the kid area. That's the teen area. It's Cordezon. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. All right, let's go get our snorkels.
where we had the amazing gin and tonic. Oh, the amazing botanicals. The, all the Christmas stuff has been up since the last time we were here. So, uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. This is basically like uh, the mall above Moot Beach. Uh, above Chill and all that. Uh, we ate dinner here the other day. It was pretty dang good. It was really good, actually. It's a it's a cool little mall. I mean, a great view out that way. Fabulous. It's just the ocean. Yeah. But for in general, it's a uh, bunch of food. Yeah. A lot of gluten free options here. Like uh, remember that that matters. Greenhouse, Pizza Mare, Mood Beach, all of them. They all have something gluten free. It's fantastic. Samson, who gets me lifted, and uh, I am having a great time. We just drank a great drink. A couple. Now we don't even have to take stairs anymore. Like we can be in this. Oh, it smells interesting in here. <laughs> that's that's not always a good thing. No, but not bad. Just like when you walk into an elevator in San Francisco and say it smells interesting. It smells like pee. Every it smells time. like pee. Every and sometimes time. poop. Yeah. Oh yeah. But mostly pee. Right now it smells like an office building, maybe? Yeah, it smells like yeah. that new office smell. So yeah, uh, I've been having a great freaking time. Um, I'm really sad because tomorrow I have to go answer a bunch of emails. Oh wait, no, that's tomorrow. Day after tomorrow, I have to answer emails. And you know what really, really is the opposite of vacation? Answering emails. Emails. Email is the opposite of vacation. Shouldn't have to answer emails on vacation. Hearing the, your language all the time, opposite of vacation. <laughs> this is every single day in Curacao. Every single day. I could do this shit all day. Oh my God. Look, oh my goodness, that sunset. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. If we watch long enough, we're about to see that green flash. Here we are at Mood for our last and final dinner. We feel a slight bit underdressed, but you know what? It's literally on a beach, so they can't expect a whole lot. We are the first people here. We're not old. We're quiet. It's beautiful here. Here's our dinner. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. That looks delicious. It's probably it's probably terrible. You guys at home would not like it. 
We're not trying to upset you. Oh. It makes me emote like like Chris and Wig. <laughs> How was it? Mm. Crash Zoom. How was that? It's good. Not as good as yours. Why is that always the case? I don't know. I don't know. So this is the porn star martini that I've been actually seeing all over the place on the island. I've never seen elsewhere a porn star martini. Um, and it's very frothy. It's got that Ron Jeremy look to it. No, it doesn't. Ron Jeremy is not attractive. This is very attractive. It's got that Mia Khalifa look to it. It's um, very fruity, passion fruity, I would say. It's got some bitters at the top. We're trying. Oh yeah, that's one sorry. Well, I mean, it's a porn star martini. You have to lick the rim. Mm. Nice. What's that? I don't know what the rest of Curacao's year is like, but this is the perfect weather, both day and night. I, I, had, I don't have a sunburn. I haven't had to put that much sunscreen on. And the nights are warm, but temperate. I just want to be outside pretty much all the time. Yeah. There's Beautimus out here. Sets the mood, don't you think? Oh yeah, this is like the mood beach. <laughs> not not nude beach, there's no nude beaches No here. nude beaches. No, actually they have a whole thing about it. Like there used to be nude beaches here, but then they all got together and like shut that shit down. Yeah. No nude beaches here. And nothing open on Sundays. Also they're really against that. We gotta leave room for the Holy Goat. Ghost, 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 shit. Oh. I always do that wrong. Yeah, I always close. think it's a goat. Super close. Yeah. On this, our last day in Curacao, we're taking our plane out today. If the governor has the best coffee in Curacao, the Van Gogh, uh, City Roastery has the second best. It's really good. So we're coming back here for some coffee and then we're gonna see if we can do some drone shots downtown Willemstead. Though, you never know if, if drone shots are allowed. So we'll see. It's, it's a very chill, not trying to get too much done because we have a full day of travel ahead of us. Can't wait to get home to see my pup. Hello, sir. Are you gonna enjoy your vankle? coffee? Uh, not as much as I did the first time. Why? Because it's always best the first time. I suppose. They have a lovely little outdoor eating area, or yeah, eating, drinking, etc. area. Anything uh, you have in the, in the Caribbean, you might as well have outdoors because the weather is just so perfect. And they have this little drive-through area where they actually make the coffee, but why is it so good? I have no idea. Do they make it inside as well? No? no, just in the outside area. The yeah. Inside, it's just for um, air conditioned sitting. Yeah. Ice storage. Yeah. We were waiting for our coffee, oh. and it just started to sprinkle a little. Spring. And uh, when it rains in the in the Caribbean, you just kind of go, "Oh, thank you." You don't you don't cry about it. Thank you, sir. Have another. May I have a little more? No, no, please have another. Right here. Take it. Take a little bit. Right here. Right here. I'm not trying. 
It's just raining. It's just raining. On my face. Almost. Like. So we're gonna stay outside. And well, if it starts like bucketing, maybe different. But drowning may be more difficult in the rain. We'll see how it goes. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> okay. It is sunshine raining right now. It's full on sunshine and just like super rainy. We actually did decide to come inside because all of our stuff was getting wet. Ay, 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 the inside. There it is. This is the last uh, moment here at uh, Sunscapes. Yeah. Uh, Spot uh, had a great time. Uh, they had a survey on the way out, and I was brutally honest. And one thing it made me remember that we forgot to mention was the people here. The people were great. The staff is just amazing. The staff get uh, four stars, for uh, sure. I, five yeah, stars? Five maybe stars. even five. Yeah, they're between, let's give them 4.5. 4.5 stars for the staff. They were friendly every time we saw them. Amazing. Yeah, the housekeepers were nice. The, literally every person you interacted with was a joy to be around. The door people recognized our number. They'd be like, hey, 7219, hey, you guys, welcome back. Yeah, you know, so yeah it, it was lovely. It felt like we're fabulous. Very cheers like. Yes, everybody knows your number of your room. Yeah. Because travel is not always glamorous. It sucks right now. Our plane left really late. We did the dumb thing. And you know what? I didn't even want to tell you we booked the Especially second leg of our flight. Better. Exactly. <laughs> I didn't want to tell you that because it was cheaper, we booked the second leg of our flight, or like our, our return home flight the with the Airlines. dreaded, no, much worse, American yeah. Airlines. I know, right? And they had effed us over for the millionth time for this year so far for me we have now missed our flight oh by the way british air is american air so they're yeah part of it. so it's been multiple times so yeah no it's uh... yeah um we have no idea how we're gonna get home we're now stuck in miami we're waiting for our bags forever and uh we'll see remember what happened last time we were in miami what did we did we kill a guy oh god i thought we didn't kill anyone. No one no one died. And he got paid by our insurance. Just like to put that out there. We had to pay out some guy like fifteen thousand dollars. Yeah. Well we didn't pay it, but someone Last did. time I was in Miami, it cost somebody fifteen thousand dollars. We don't want to be here. We want to go home. It is late. And American Airlines has to figure out a way to get us home. It's up to them. Will they do it? No I matter what. Doubt it. I don't want to stay at that hotel they put us up last time we were here in Miami and they could and they screwed up the flights. Or are we, what was that place called? Oh, oh wait, you weren't in that. I wasn't in that. Whatever that one, it was like the Optimum Hotel, and yeah. it was like, I was definitely afraid of bed bugs. Bed bugs. No. So we got to the assistance desk, and they're saying that they're going to be able to get us there to Dallas tonight, uh, but we'll get to, um, we'll get to SFO tomorrow. Uh, the, the whole thing has been, Pretty screwy. The other option was to leave here at 3.45 tomorrow, but of course we're not going to do that. Um, so I guess we'll go to Dallas. We'll get us a hotel in Dallas. We'll leave as early as possible. They'll get us a hotel in Dallas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The American to pay for all of this. And then uh, we'll hopefully get lumps in time. And then uh, I got to be at hopefully work. I can get my medication in. Yeah, yeah. And then I've got to be at work, like. Yeah, it's great. It's fun. It's my favorite. <laughs> so remember when we told you guys, we said, hey, Never ever book American. This is why. This is why. So the new flight they put us on was delayed by an hour. You know, we're not going to get into Dallas till tomorrow, and then we're going to have to get up hella early to get to us. It's fine. It is what it is. We're on a flight. You don't got to. You got to like get extra seat for thirty. It's two in the morning. We're in Dallas. We've just gotten to a comfort inn. We're still in line for, well, 
he's in line to get checked in there are a few people ahead of us at 2 in the morning and uh, then we'll sleep for about two hours before we get back up to get back to the airport to get on our next flight to try to get home. This is so much fun. Oh, by the way, when we got to DSW, the people forgot to put the jetway out. So we had to wait for even longer. This American. It's the best. I love them. I hate the world and everything in it. I hate the season on skies. I pray to God he gonna be with me. It's days like today that you just don't want to live the RV life anymore. I just want to be in a normal house where I can be warm and and your house doesn't like break. Just to get you off my mind.